What's shame, gang? My name is Brittany Ventura. I am a personal stylist. In today's episode, I want to talk about layering in particular. We're in the winter time right now, but here's where I am going when I'm layering this way. I am probably going to an indoor facility. If you're a ma, like me, we are going to high school gyms. We are going to indoor practice. We are going to basketball games. Do you know what I mean? Last year, one of my little boys wrestled. So I was in even sweatier gyms with like thousands of schools and tournaments. You know what I'm saying? So think about the osmosis of your outfit for something like that, right? That's what we're going deep dive into today. So buckle up, babies. It begins with, like everything else, your basics, the foundation. Now, I don't know if everybody here is with me, so I'm just going to speak for me. And if you know me personally, you know I'm a real fussy broad and I love to get gussied up. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Y'all take this with a grain of salt, but this is what I'm doing, going to said basketball game, right? So you're going to the game, you know there's no coat check at the high school gym. For the record, there should be coat check at these places. Oh my God, the amount of space it takes up, the sweating that you do when you're in it, then all your crap gets dirty. It's just like people are stepping on it and oh, it's a mess. Neither here nor there, but it's the truth. Am I right? I'm right. All right, neither here nor there. So you're going to this place, winter time, you are preparing for the entering and exiting of the building, right? So you gotta have outer layers and warm layers and hats and all the stuff. But then you get into the place and you're like, okay, I can peel a layer. Clearly the coat's coming off. And then as you settle into that climate once more, you're like, okay, yeah, I might need to take off another layer. This video is for you. The base layer of this outfit is critical. You have to know your body and you have to know what materials really make you sweat. I love silk. I love cashmere. They make me hot. I am an overheating machine. And especially if I'm like last year watching my little boy wrestle. Ooh, if you are also a boy mom and your kids wrestle, well, I shouldn't say that. Shit, if, if wrestling was a thing when I was young, I would have been a wrestler. Like, I think my high school that my kids go to, not my high school, not the Frankfurt Falcons, but I think that the high school my kids go to, they are going to have enough girls, enough interest in the sport that they're going to have their own girls wrestling team. That's what I would have done if I was doing it all over again, present day, just saying. Um, yeah, so if you get hot watching your kids play sports and it's stressful, you know what I mean? You gotta know your body. What makes your body sweat is different than mine. Silk, absolutely not. Like, I would never wear a silk cami to one of my kids' games that's inside. Like, I just couldn't. I would be, it would just be stuck to me and I'd have sweat everywhere. I know that about me. What do you know about you? So base layers are critical from a sweating and building position. So stick with something simple. I mean, like t-shirt, like something cotton, something breathable, something that is going to move with you in a good way. Yeah. So for the purpose of holding and touching and showing, this would be fine. I'm just going to show you this one. It's from Target. What is that? Thread and something? I don't know. Take my word for it. It's from Target. I love it. It's one of my favorite color browns. Y'all been here while you all know that. If I could, everything in my life would be this color. Yeah, so start with this. And this is where you really got to hone in on your hotness, <laughs> your internal thermostat, and your location. I'm going to show you all the options, but you need to pick the one that matches your body's, ther body's thermostat as well as where you're going and what's the weather like where you are. So say you're not in that cold of a climate, 
maybe all you do is this and this and some jeans or leggings and you call it a day. Maybe this is a shacket. Maybe that's it. Maybe you stop there. You're like, whoa. Mon back, mon back, whoa. Or maybe that ain't enough. Maybe you keep going. And I love hoodies for this very reason because you can take them off. Same thing with like an open, you know, jacket, jacket. The ability to strip, <laughs> very important. So maybe you're like, nope, I need all three. It's gonna be, it's gonna be killer cold. Then you do that. Or you just do the t-shirt and the hoodie. Or say you're like, I just love leather. It keeps me really warm. Well, then maybe you're like this and you're just done. Like the coat is the outfit. I love that. So if the coat is the outfit and this is just where you're going to live all day and you're good with that, do that. Now, if you can't, I get it. Maybe you got to go thin. Now this one's not very thin, but say it was really thin and it had a hood, obviously it's a hoodie, <laughs> but you're doing that underneath your leather just for another layer. And then the hood's like hanging out the back. It looks super cute. Kind of like an athleisure, sexy, tough girl kind of vibe. Yeah. But maybe it looks like that to you. And again, you have to know your body. I, I don't, I can't do it for you. I wish I could. These are just suggestions and you got to say, yes, that's me. Or hell no, that ain't me. And here's the route that I find myself going. I'm in said basics. I go straight for the hoodie and wool coat or hoodie and leather jacket. I know me and I don't need this bit because when I'm that hot, I'm ready for the t-shirt. <laughs> like that's just, I don't need that one. Or if this is supposed to be the look, right? Like I'm just supposed to be, I kind of feel like Kevin McAllister's dad right now running through the airport. I don't know why. I don't know why, but maybe this is just the look and I get out my half mittens. I just leave them in my coat pocket. I'm good. You know what I mean? Run into the gym, take off my mittens, sit down. I'm good. I'm just going to be like this, right? No stress, no mess. This is enough for me. Maybe you throw on a hat and a scarf and that's it. You know what I would also encourage you to do? Because every single time I go to high school gym, I'm like, God, I wish I could just corral our stuff at a coat check. And you can't because that doesn't exist there. It ain't the bar. Bring a tote bag. Bring an empty tote bag that is collapsible. Do you know what I mean? Not those lands and ones that are like <laughs> the toughest canvas ever. Not that. Just... Something that you can put the crap in. Say it's the gloves, the hats, the layers, but it can be in this bag. And then you like, you know, put that with your gear. I swear, it's like when we would go to sporting events <laughs> as kids, you'd just be like, have all this stuff. And you, yeah, just put it up here with my mom. Like she's camp. Like she has bunkered down on the stadium bleachers and she ain't moving. And like, she's just like corralling all our stuff like a pack horse. That's kind of how it is as moms, is it not? Get yourself a tote bag. Corral the crap. I hope to God this was helpful. If you all found it helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to work with a personal stylist, if I am your cup of tea, I'll leave all my contact information below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, gang.